Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today we're gonna have a look at something completely different. This is a 1990 Ford F350 tow truck. If you're wondering, this truck does have a newer front end on it, which is why uh, it looks different from the actual 1990 trucks. As you can tell, this truck is black with purple and yellow flames. And, chrome door handle. Interior. Is black, or gray, with very interesting uh, colored inserts, yellow, uh, purple, and orange, as you can tell. So, top on in. Go ahead and close this door. As you can tell. Just a metal key. Goes in over here. This truck does have a five speed manual, as you can tell. For reverse, the door, open the window first. They are power windows for both sides. And let's go ahead and fire it up. This is a gasoline engine, but it does have a tachometer. So, as I mentioned, door locks down here, as well as the power windows, steering wheel, turn signals over here, light controls, as well as wi uh, wipe wipers, and uh, picking which fuel tank you want, because this truck has two fuel tanks. Has a, quite a few gauges. Temperature, fuel gauge, uh, oil pressure, and voltage. 85 mile per hour speedometer. This truck shows 87,000 miles, but it could be 187 or 287,000. As I said, there is a tachometer. A little bit of a cubby hole down here to the side. Climate control. Radio, custom radio. A bunch of uh, switches for all of your exhaust. Auxiliary lights, five-speed manual, of course. Four-wheel drive transfer case down there. And let's go ahead, check out the outside. Gonna turn the lights on. And let's go and check out the outside. As I mentioned, this truck actually is a 1990 uh, model year with the newer front end from like the 90, I'd say it was probably 93 to 97, 96 maybe. As you can tell, it's custom headlights. Painted front bumper. The hood has uh, hood scoops. Lights on the roof. Eight lug wheels. Chrome mirrors. Step bars. As I mentioned, of course, this is a tow truck, so it has your whole uh, boom operation with all of the controls right here, which I'll show off later in the video. Fuel cap for one of the fuel tanks on this side, and the other one's on the other side. Keep stuff in here. Tinted windows. It's 
So to work the uh, the boom, all you have to do is have the truck running like it is now, push in the clutch, and at the same time pull on this uh, lever right here. After you do that, the uh, engine will idle down a little bit. And here are the controls. You have cable controls for both of both sides of the uh, the winches, as well as uh, the wheel lift, which is this part. And you can move it in and out and up and down. Wheel lift tilt. You can tilt it from side to side. As you can tell, it's kind of uh, tilted to uh, one side right now. Fairly simple to operate. And there's controls on both sides. So no matter which side of the truck you're on, you can still control everything. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. As well as turn the uh, turn the the winch controls or the uh, towing controls off just by pushing in, pushing down the clutch, and then pushing uh, this back in. As I mentioned before, this truck does have a uh, non-diesel V8. Shut it off. There's a uh, button over here that you have to push while taking or uh, turning the key. And let's go and check out the passenger side. Of course, locks and window controls. box there is a dome light has a little coat hook on this side what I thought was funny is that there's actually no rear view mirror I noticed that whenever I was driving up here okay so now we're driving this uh, tow truck here 1994 Trojan, and uh, it's pretty interesting. So as you can tell, I started on second gear because first gear is absolutely useless. Because it's it's made to be able to pull a car out of anything, basically. So the first gear goes about eight miles per hour, and it tops out. And uh, other than that, it's really really bouncy. Like that's the like the second biggest thing about it is that it's incredibly bouncy. Although, I guess since I'm used to driving really big cars, the uh, the size of it, like width and whatnot, is not really bothering me at all. Because it's not really long at all. It's pretty short, actually. It's basically, it seems like a, uh, a short bed, kind of. But... Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty interesting to drive. It brakes work decently and stuff, and uh, yeah, very hot in here because the heat's on. Let's go back in. Yeah. Turn around up here. It's not really a bad vehicle to drive at all. Like the clutch is pretty easy. It's like my truck where the clutch is. Oh yeah. I have reverse is a pain in the butt. Not entirely sure why, but it does not like to go in reverse. So I'm just gonna let it roll backwards. Other than that, the clutch is really nice, and uh, steering is very easy because ah, because it's uh, extremely power assisted. Like it's 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 it feels like my truck steering, which is really easy. But anyways, that's going to conclude this portion of the video.
and yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on the 1990 Ford F350 tow truck. Be sure to check out Moto Exotica's info in the description below. And I'm out of here. See ya.